Lin Chi, also known as Linji or Rinzai in Japanese, was a significant figure in the development of Zen Buddhism, particularly within the Rinzai school. He lived during the Tang Dynasty in China, 9th century, and became renowned for his teachings, which were characterized by their direct and often confrontational style. Lin Qi emphasized the importance of direct experience over intellectual understanding. He encouraged his students to seek enlightenment through sudden, direct realization rather than gradual, systematic practice. His teachings often involved striking, unconventional methods aimed at shocking his students out of conceptual thinking and pushing them to directly perceive their true nature. One of his famous teachings is the concept of killing the Buddha, which symbolizes the idea of not becoming attached to external authorities or fixed ideas, even if they relate to revered figures like the Buddha. He emphasized the need for practitioners to discover their own truth and not be limited by dogma or preconceptions. Lin Qi's teachings were pivotal in shaping the Rinzai Zen tradition, known for its use of koans, paradoxical questions or statements, and intense meditation practices to provoke enlightenment experiences. His emphasis on direct insight and the unmediated experience of reality left a profound mark on Zen Buddhism, influencing countless practitioners and teachers throughout history. Lin Qi gave his students a concept of the three gates to follow for a state of complete mindfulness and realization. He asked to pass each gate in a week while doing the meditations and contemplations provided by him. The Three Gates teaching attributed to Lin Qi, also known as Rinzai, is a fundamental aspect of Zen Buddhism. Lin Qi was a prominent figure in the Zen tradition, and his teachings emphasized direct insight and awakening. The Three Gates are a means to approach spiritual understanding and realization. 1. The Gate of Emptiness This gate refers to the idea of letting go of preconceived notions and concepts. Emptiness, in this context, doesn't signify a void, but rather the absence of inherent, independent existence. It encourages practitioners to let go of attachments and fixed ideas about reality. 2. The Gate of Oneness Here, the focus is on recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. It's about transcending the dualistic perception of the world and experiencing the unity underlying everything. This gate leads practitioners to understand that there is no inherent separation between oneself and the world. 3. The Gate of Suchness or Absolute Reality Suchness refers to the intrinsic nature of reality, seeing things as they truly are beyond labels or conceptualizations. It's about perceiving the world without filters or judgments, experiencing the unadorned reality in its purest form. Lin Qi's teaching through these gates was a way to guide practitioners toward direct realization and awakening. The gates are not literal barriers, but rather conceptual tools to help individuals navigate their understanding of reality and themselves. They encourage a deep exploration of one's mind and perceptions, ultimately aiming for a direct experience of truth beyond intellectual understanding. Let's move towards the first gate of consciousness, the gate of emptiness. Linji's The Gate of Emptiness invites practitioners to transcend the limitations of conventional thinking and directly experience the liberating nature of emptiness. Emptiness, in the context of Zen, goes beyond mere nothingness. It signifies the lack of inherent, fixed existence in all phenomena. Linji encourages individuals to recognize the emptiness of self and reality, thereby freeing themselves from the shackles of attachment and dualistic thinking. Zen Practice Embracing the Koan A traditional Zen practice that aligns with Linji's emphasis on direct experience is the use of koans. Koans are paradoxical statements or questions that challenge rational thinking and propel the practitioner into a state of direct realization. Engaging with koans, such as what is the sound of one hand clapping, or what was your original face before your parents were born, 
helps in breaking down conceptual barriers and facilitating a direct encounter with emptiness. The three pillars of Lingji's teaching, one, non-attachment, liberation from conceptual clinging, Lingji vigorously advocates for non-attachment as a path to liberation. Non-attachment, in this context, involves relinquishing attachment to fixed concepts, desires, and aversions. Lingji's confrontational style aims to shock practitioners out of their habitual clinging, enabling them to directly experience the freedom that comes with letting go. Zen practice, Zazen and letting go. Zazen, or seated meditation, is a foundational Zen practice that complements Lingji's teachings on non-attachment. By sitting in stillness and observing the arising and passing of thoughts without attachment, practitioners cultivate a mind free from conceptual entanglements. Incorporating the practice of consciously letting go during meditation enhances the direct experience of non-attachment. 2. Direct Experience Beyond Intellectual Understanding Lingji urges practitioners to move beyond intellectual understanding and directly encounter reality. The gate to such direct experience is open through the dismantling of conceptual thinking. Lingji's abrupt and unconventional methods aim to bypass intellectual barriers and facilitate an immediate, unmediated experience of truth. Zen Practice Shikantaza Just Sitting Shikantaza, or just sitting, is a Zen practice that aligns with Lingji's emphasis on direct experience. In Shikantaza, practitioners sit in open awareness, allowing thoughts, sensations, and perceptions to arise and pass without interference. This practice fosters a direct, non-conceptual encounter with the present moment, dismantling the barriers to immediate experience. 3. Radical Self-Realization – Unveiling Buddha Nature Lingji advocates for a radical self-realization that transcends societal conventions and dualistic thinking. This involves recognizing one's innate Buddha nature, the unconditioned, enlightened essence within each individual. Lingji's teachings guide practitioners to go beyond superficial identities and live authentically in the present moment. Zen Practice, Koan Introspection and Self-Inquiry Koan Introspection and Self-Inquiry are Zen practices that resonate with Lingji's emphasis on radical self-realization. By deeply investigating koans or engaging in self-inquiry practices like Who Am I?, practitioners peel away layers of conditioned identity, opening the door to a direct realization of their inherent Bud nature. Contemporary Relevance and Application Mindfulness in Daily Life Lingji's teachings are not confined to the meditation cushion, they extend into everyday life. Mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in each moment, aligns with Lingji's call to live authentically. Practitioners can cultivate mindfulness in daily activities, bringing the spirit of direct experience and non-attachment into their interactions, work, and mundane tasks. Community and Sangha Support In the contemporary context, engaging with a Zen community or Sangha provides invaluable support for practitioners. Sharing insights, participating in group meditation, and receiving guidance from experienced practitioners foster a supportive environment for embodying Lingji's teachings. Understanding the essence of emptiness, practicing non-attachment, embracing direct experience, and realizing radical self-awareness are integral aspects of the Zen path inspired by Lingji's teachings. Through the recommended Zen practices, contemporary seekers can embark on a transformative journey, unveiling the gate to emptiness in their own lives and experiencing the boundless freedom it offers. Lingji's legacy continues to resonate, inviting all sincere seekers to walk through the gate and explore the limitless expanse of awakened consciousness. After practicing on the gate of emptiness for seven days, one is ready to move towards the gate of oneness. The gate of oneness encapsulates Lingji's profound insights into the nature of reality and the interconnectedness of all existence. Unveiling the essence of oneness in Lingji's teaching. 
Oneness as the essence of reality. Lingi's The Gate of Oneness invites practitioners to recognize the fundamental interconnectedness and non-dual nature of existence. Oneness, in the context of Zen, signifies the dissolution of artificial boundaries between self and other, revealing the inherent unity and interconnectedness of all phenomena. Zen practice, Tunglin embracing compassion. Tunglin, a Tibetan Buddhist practice that harmonizes with Lingji's teachings on oneness, involves visualizing the interconnectedness of all beings. Practitioners breathe in the suffering of others and exhale compassion and relief, cultivating a deep sense of interconnectedness and compassion towards all sentient beings. The three pillars of Lingji's teaching on oneness. 1. Embracing non-duality, dissolving boundaries. Lingji emphasizes the dissolution of dualistic thinking to realize oneness. This involves transcending the artificial divisions between self and other, good and bad, and recognizing the inherent unity that underlies all apparent distinctions. Zen practice, Hua Tu investigating the self. Hua Tu, a practice involving deep inquiry into a question such as who am I, aligns with Lingji's teachings on non-duality. Through rigorous investigation of the self, practitioners confront the illusion of separateness, leading to the realization of oneness. 2. Emptiness and Oneness, the Unified Essence Lingji's teachings on oneness intersect with the concept of emptiness, highlighting the inherent lack of inherent existence in all phenomena. Emptiness and oneness converge in the revelation of the unified essence underlying apparent diversity. Zen practice, Shikantaza sitting in presence. Shikantaza, or just sitting, complements Lingji's teachings on emptiness and oneness. By sitting in silent presence, practitioners allow the dissolution of boundaries between self and other, cultivating a direct experience of the interconnectedness of all existence. 3. Living in Harmony, Manifesting Oneness Lingji's teachings encourage practitioners to embody oneness in their daily lives. This involves living in harmony with others and the environment, recognizing the inherent unity that permeates all aspects of existence. Zen practice, engaged mindfulness. Engaged mindfulness practices involve applying mindfulness to daily activities, fostering an awareness of interconnectedness in everyday life. Practitioners consciously act in alignment with oneness, cultivating compassion, and contributing positively to the interconnected web of existence. Contemporary Relevance and Application Interconnectedness in a Global Context In today's interconnected world, Lingji's teachings on oneness hold immense significance. Understanding the interdependence of all beings and the environment can inspire actions that promote harmony, sustainability, and collective well-being. Meta Meditation for Universal Love Meta, or loving-kindness meditation, aligns with Lingji's teachings by cultivating a sense of universal love and interconnectedness. Practitioners generate feelings of love and compassion towards oneself and extend them to all beings, fostering a deep sense of oneness. The Gate of Oneness invites seekers to recognize the profound interconnectedness and non-dual nature of reality. Through the recommended Zen practices such as Tunglin, Hua Tu, Shikantaza, Engaged Mindfulness, and Metta, practitioners can embark on a transformative journey toward realizing oneness in their own lives. Lingji's legacy continues to guide contemporary seekers on the path of awakening to the interconnected web of existence where boundaries dissolve and the essence of oneness shines forth. As practitioners engage with these practices, they open the gate to a deeper understanding of the unified fabric of reality, fostering compassion, harmony, and a profound sense of interconnectedness with all that exists. This meta-meditation provides a complete calmness of mind as one is left undisturbed as one accepts everything within oneself and after practicing on the gate for seven days, he is ready to move inside to the gate of suchness or the gate of absolute reality. This gate also refer to practical life Zen. 
Understanding the essence of absolute reality in Lingji's teaching, the gate of suchness, journey to absolute reality. In the realm of Zen Buddhism, Lingji Yixuan's teachings echo through the ages, resonating with seekers on the path to uncovering the essence of existence, the gate of suchness or absolute reality. This profound concept beckons us to delve beyond mere understanding and immerse ourselves in the direct experience of reality as it truly is, unfiltered, unadulterated, and deeply transformative. Understanding Absolute Reality Suchness, the unconditioned essence. Suchness encapsulates the intrinsic nature of reality, free from conceptual overlays or distortions. It unveils the unconditioned essence underlying all phenomena, the ever-present truth that transcends the illusions spun by our perceptions and conditioned thoughts. Emotional Resonance, Navigating Life's Terrain This understanding of suchness offers a profound emotional anchor in the tumultuous seas of life. It invites us to find solace in the certainty of impermanence, encouraging resilience and grace in the face of life's inevitable changes. Zen Practices for Embracing Suchness 1. Zazen, Sitting in Unadorned Reality Zazen, the cornerstone of Zen practice, aligns harmoniously with Lingji's teachings on suchness. Through seated meditation, we strip away the layers of mental constructs, immersing ourselves in the unvarnished reality of the present moment. Practice tip. Start with short periods of daily meditation, gradually extending the duration. Focus on the breath and cultivate an open awareness of thoughts, sensations, and surroundings. 2. Koan Contemplation. Dissolving Dualities. Engaging with koans, Paradoxical statements or questions dissolves the barriers of dualistic thinking, inviting a direct encounter with absolute reality. Practice tip, reflect on koans such as what is your original face before your parents were born. Allow these inquiries to permeate your being, transcending rational analysis. 3. Mindful engagement, living in suchness. Mindfulness in everyday life becomes a practice in living suchness. Engage fully in each moment, savoring the richness of experiences without the veil of past regrets or future anxieties. Practice tip, practice mindful eating, walking, or even washing dishes. Engage all senses in the present activity, noticing the subtleties of each moment. Practical implications in daily life. One, emotional resilience and equanimity. Understanding suchness offers emotional resilience, enabling us to navigate life's emotional ebbs and flows with greater equanimity. Embracing impermanence fosters a sense of inner strength amid emotional turbulence. Two, authentic living and letting go. Suchness guides us toward living authentically, free from societal facades. Letting go of attachments to transient pleasures, possessions, and identities paves the way for a more genuine existence. 3. Gratitude and Presence in Daily Moments Suchness nurtures gratitude for the ordinary moments of life. It encourages us to relish the simplicity of each experience, finding beauty in the mundane and joy in the everyday. Emotional Connection Walking the Path of Suchness Suchness is not a distant concept, but a guiding light for our emotional journey. It calls us to embrace the transient nature of emotions, acknowledging their passing without entanglement. Conclusion, the path to wholeness through suchness. In the realm of absolute reality, suchness beckons us to traverse the landscape of existence with open hearts and awakened minds. Lingi's teachings on suchness serve as a beacon, guiding us toward a profound connection with life, fostering resilience, authenticity, and a deep sense of gratitude. By immersing ourselves in the practices of Zen, infused with the essence of suchness, we embark on a transformative journey, one that transcends the intellectual and touches the depths of our emotional core. Let us walk this path of suchness together, embracing life's joys and challenges with open arms, finding solace in the eternal dance of impermanence, and uncovering the radiant beauty of absolute reality within and around us. 
harmonizing the three gates. Each gate offers a distinct yet interconnected path to personal growth, societal harmony, and spiritual awakening. Emptiness teaches us to release attachments, oneness fosters compassion and inclusivity, and suchness invites us to embrace life authentically. Harmonizing these gates in our lives creates a tapestry of wisdom, guiding us toward a balanced existence. As we weave the teachings of emptiness, oneness, and suchness into our daily practices, we cultivate a mindset that embraces impermanence with equanimity, nurtures compassion toward ourselves and others, and cherishes the richness of each passing moment. The synergy of these gates offers us a holistic approach to living, a tapestry of wisdom that enriches our lives, connects us to our shared humanity, and nurtures a deeper understanding of the essence of existence. May the integration of these gates guide us in embodying authenticity, compassion, and wisdom as we navigate the tapestry of life, contributing positively to our own well-being and the collective harmony of the world around us.